Hello guys, welcome to Koa Academy and in this video we'll be talking about a very very fundamental concept in accounting and that is what is an event in accounting and moreover we'll be differentiating between external events in accounting and internal events in accounting and after that we will be discussing what is a transaction and what is the difference between an event and a transaction. So starting off with the definition of event, an event is a happening of consequence to an entity. That is whatever happens in a business and that has a bearing or a consequence of an entity or a business that is called an event. Now that could be anything, for example, death of a CEO or it could be like uh, a depression in the economy. All of those have an impact on the business. So they are all events because they have a bearing on the entity. Now events can be distinguished between external events and internal events. Now external events in, are when there is interaction between an entity and its environment. For example, if, if, if the economy is experiencing a uh, depression, then it means that the overall economic growth rate has slowed down. So it's an external event. It is occurring all over the country and the business is an effectee. So it is occurring outside the business. It is not business specific. So it's, it's an example of external event. Whereas internal event occurs entirely within an entity. For example, if the CEO of a company dies, this means that that particular business will be affected and it is an internal event solely specific to the business. Now, until a new good replacement is found, a new CEO is found, the business will get affected. So it has a bearing or a consequence for the entity. But remember that the both the events I discussed, that is there is a depression in the economy and the CEO of the company has died. They both are not transactions because for a transaction, the event has to be measurable in terms of dollars or rupees so that they are recorded in the financial statements. For example, when the CEO is di has died, business will suffer loss because there will be a there will be leadership gap but you cannot quantify as to how much loss the business will suffer so it's an event but not a transaction similarly when there is a recession in the economy the business will suffer because when the economy is going down the businesses will also go down but you cannot quantify as to how much loss will the business has to face because of that particular event so it's also not a transaction Example of a transaction could be that when a business purchases raw materials or assets, then that is a happening. That is, it's an event because it has a bearing on the entity and it's also a transaction because it is quantifiable. For example, if you purchased a raw material of $10,000, then it means that you can quantify it. So that event has is a transaction worth $10,000. So it will be recorded in the financial statements. Uh, so the the summary of this is that every transaction is an event but every event is not a transaction for an event to become a transaction it has to be quantifiable in monetary terms and when it's quantifiable in, in monetary terms it is recorded in the financial statements and if it's, it cannot be uh, quantifiable in monetary terms then it's just an event it's not a transaction and it's not recorded in the financial statements I hope this video made your concepts clear and if you like the video do 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 subscribe to the channel so that you can keep receiving updates about the future videos moreover do uh, do search the different playlists I created in this channel you will find lots and lots of useful content there thank you so much